Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to attempting to speak softer and probably getting people asking the fuck happened to your voice in the comments, otherwise known as an Outriders video. Hey guys, and welcome to the first video of what I dub uh, kind of the new era of Makari videos. And what better way to spark off a new era of the channel than giving you guys an update to an up and coming game that I am incredibly excited for. So a little while back, we were invited by the people over at Square Enix and People Can Fly to play Outriders, an up and coming sci-fi loot shooter set to take the genre, that is the sci-fi loot shooter genre, by storm and inject an entirely new breath of fresh air into the, the, into the genre. And let's face it, the genre has been a little bit stagnant for quite some time now, what with the only relevant sci-fi loot shooters realistically being that of Warframe, Destiny, and maybe one or two other smaller ones here or there. And let's not forget the travesty that was Anthem. So having a new sci-fi loot shooter coming down the line is good news, right? So today we're going to be having a nice big update about what's going on in the world of Outriders. And it's important to know that with this video, we're not necessarily going to be looking at this stuff that I've played or any of that sort of notion specifically, but what I will say is this, and that is that over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be releasing a series of videos that will help us all understand what Outriders is, what to expect from it, and why I've been so excited for it. There will be, there will also be a link to my two initial videos in the description down below, and linked via the playlist that this video will be part of. So if you want to educate yourself on what we've, what we've already experienced of Outriders, so you can get a general idea as to what the game's going to be about, then by all means check that out as well. Now, the first and foremost part of this video is to give you guys an update as to what's going on in the world of Outriders. And this video, although it will be covering a lot of things, it's most notably about where the game is at right now. So a little while back, the developers of Outriders made a post announcing a delay to the release of Outriders, which was originally going to be February the 1st, and subsequently they have now moved it to April the 1st. This announcement then came with this post via their Twitter. Happy New Year! We believe it's important that players get to experience a new IP like Outriders before release, so that you can decide for yourself whether the game is something you wish to pre-order, purchase, or play. For this reason, we're excited to announce that on February the 25th, 2021, we will be publishing a free demo, giving everyone the chance to play the first few hours of the game with all four classes, in both single player and co-op, along with seamless migration of your character and progress to the full game. Speaking of which, we have decided to move the release date of Outriders to April the 1st, 2021. No joke. We will spend this extra time fine-tuning the game and focusing on delivering a fantastic play experience at launch. Thanks for hanging tight a little longer. We appreciate your patience. Now, although this may seem a little bit reminiscent of that debacle from Cyberpunk with how they constantly released little notations of delays and whatnot, unlike Cyberpunk, which even after countless delays should have been in the oven for easily m another six or more months, this is a slight tangent, Outriders delay seems fitting, and honestly, if I'm being real, I'm happy for a couple delays so long as the game is complete when it's on release. I'd have even been happy for Cyberpunk to have been delayed more if it meant that it was at a higher standard on its launch. So from this, I want to kind of help alleviate the fears that the game might be broken or not finished on release, as there was also a subreddit post saying that the main reason for this delay was that, in essence, they wanted a good show and not to release something that at the time or when it is released that would be in a state where it wouldn't be perfect in of their own standards. And if I'm being frank, I'm all for this. If you want a bit more detail on this, the Reddit post is in the description, but the TLDR of all of it was that, in essence, they want us to be happy with the product, and until they're happy, they're not going to release something that they don't think is perfect. And although they do seem, as, seem to have confidence that the game is in a state where it would be ready to release, they don't want to have the small little nitpicks that might cause a, the general enjoyment to fall down. So they want the best product available on release. And that is the kind of TLDR of pretty much all of this, in fact. So the idea of this free-to-play demo is that it's likely going to be a small segment that, you'll be, will, that will be set quite early on in the narrative to give players a taste of what is to come, giving the option of the single player and co-op and to test out the systems such as dungeons and online matchmaking systems to get a real feel for the game as a whole and the fact that you can take your character into the full game as well is also an extra benefit if you do decide to continue with the full game and buy it. And it's a telling sign of the mentality that the developers are going with when publishing this game as well as developing it, as this whole idea is about the community. They want to make sure they're putting their best foot forwards, and these kind of steps are really showing that. In my eyes, we get too many games that just aren't what they promise on launch, and the more room we give devs to breathe and have that room they need to develop the game they want, 
I'm happy to see that the devs are prioritizing the necessity of a complete game rather than rushing something out the door for the sake of obligations or trying to meet some arbitrary holiday release time to boost sales. This mindset is then complemented furthermore by the fact that for the first time in eons, we have a developer that are actually giving out a free demo. Can you name the last time you thought of a game or a developer that gave out a free demo this close to release and in this kind of complete state? There have been a couple here or there, but this is the, probably one of the most notable in regards to what they're actually giving access to. What with being given access to pretty much everything the game might actually throw at you for the most part, of course, keeping some certain things secret for the end game for so people have something to aspire towards. From my experience of the game, Outriders is one of the most up and coming games in the genre for sci-fi loot shooters and gaming as a whole. This game has the opportunity to really set the pace for not only how developers should function, but also a game should interact with its audience. And I think we are absolutely looking at a game that could absolutely set the pace for a lot of us in the near future. I adored the way this game set the pacing. It allowed you to engage with the content the way you wanted to. And you know what? No game is perfect. There were absolutely some things that I wasn't 100% keen on. But when is a game ever perfect? I loved the idea of how the damage system worked in this game. I loved having the free choice of spec systems. I loved the open-ended nature of each of the um, classes that were available with the Devastator, the Pyromancer, the Tecromancer, and of course the Trickster, all boasting such a unique and varied array of abilities. And it's something that goes amiss these days, I feel, is that this game has nailed the feeling of combat. It has nailed how each of your abilities works to feel like they're really engaging in a fight. Whereas a lot of these games we get these days, and not meaning to pick on Warframe here, but a lot of games when you engage in combat, you feel like you're just hurtling numbers around for the sake of it. But when you use an ability in Outriders, it actually feels like this ability is making a difference. Like the immersion within Outriders is phenomenal. I think that is probably gonna be one of the biggest takeaways that any player who's come from something like Destiny or Warframe are gonna pull from Outriders is that it's an immersive experience. It's a completely versatile experience where in games like Warframe, although the choice is yours and the open-ended nature is fantastic, you lack substance. Or vice versa in Destiny where the gameplay feels fantastic but the actual depth of content is quite sparse. Outriders has a nice balance. There's immersion, there's grit, and my god is the game satisfying to play if you're looking for something a little bit different. If I'm honest, this is all pretty damn awesome. We need more developers that prioritize this notion of community outreach, knowing that community and the players are the ones who will make this game what it is. We've seen a lot of developers, naming no names, becoming apathetic to the yearn of their community, and I think people coming from these other sci-fi loot shooters will find Outriders to be filling in what their games have been lacking. In fact, my friend Tactical Potato made a very interesting video about this entire notion uh, about how dis how about how decision making by developers can directly affect the mentality of their community. I'd advise actually giving it a watch because it does kind of set you up for why other games are maybe failing or not doing quite so well at the moment. And I'll leave a, a link to that in the description down below as well. And finally, although yes, it is a little bit disappointing to have this delay, I'm sure anyone with common sense and a bit of patience and anyone that saw what happened with Cyberpunk can agree that it's better to get a complete game and to give the developers the time they need to polish things up than to rush it out. We've all had a bit of a hard time with ga the games industry recently, so let's help nurture this positive mindset and show developers that this idea of crunch and rushing games out doesn't help anyone. And we all want a game that is perfect. We all want a game that's going to put its best foot forwards. And Outriders has this opportunity to do so. So as a community, as gamers, we need to be able to have the better mindset. We need to be better than what has come before. So let me know what you think about this. all this down in the comments down below. Are you excited for Outriders when it does fully release? Are you annoyed by the delay? Are you looking forward to specific parts of Outriders? Are there certain things you're looking forward to more than others? I'm going to say this now, there's going to be a lot of Outriders content coming from me in the near future in regards to guides and general things to prepare you for it. So do keep your eye on this channel as there's we're hopefully going to be releasing more and more as, as the time gets closer. But between then and now, I do have some ideas for other content that can kind of bridge the gap between Warframe and Outriders. So again, keep your eyes open for if you're looking for some interesting content and to learn about the game. 
Now, I will certainly be jumping in balls deep for the demo over on Twitch. So if you are interested in learning about the game in a first-hand perspective or joining me for that matter, then by all means do drop by for daily streams along with other content we do as well. And hey, even if you says playing a game you may not be familiar with, you're always welcome to come and say hi. At the end of the day, this, this channel and everything I do is always about the community. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.